Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, I'm sure by now most of you are, well, between my videos and many other prepper videos, I've seen that a lot of them have been talking about it, which is fine, but I'm sure most of you by now are well aware of the fact that there has been a an announcement in the news media that China is full-on cyber attack army against us. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting that it's all coming out around the same time, but also, as you know, there was the, uh, the movie that came out a few days ago on Netflix that was the Obamas produced it, uh, some type of end time apocalyptic kind of movie, uh, which was a cyber attack. That's what they said in the movie. There was this big cyber attack and took the grid down and took all these other services down, communications, everything come to a screeching halt. And then this morning, the Washington Post ran an article, as you can see here, uh, talking about how uh, China's cyber army is, is trying to take down, well, everything in the United States. And Fox News also ran a story on it. And, you know, a lot of people are talking about it, and it sounds kind of scary. And while it could all just be hype, it, it just, you know, between the, the left side of the Obamas making the movie and the right side of Fox, which really isn't conservative, but you know what I'm saying, uh, talking about it. Maybe it's all just to, to get everyone riled up. Maybe it's a distraction or it could be them letting us know what's about to come. Remember, and I've said this already, that the World Economic Forum and Klaus Schwab said that there would be a massive cyber attack, cyber warfare that would happen before 2025. They said this about a year ago, and they said that it would happen within before 2025, within the next two years. And so we've got a year left before that happens. And then, of course, there's the uh, election coming up. So could we be on the verge of seeing some major cyber attack that knocks us back to the Stone Age, uh, so to speak? It's very, very possible. And I think that we should not take it lightly. Uh, I'm not telling everyone that you should go out and panic by and freak out and do all these kind of things, but uh, I think we should probably take it fairly seriously because there's just a lot kind of coming out about it. Um, a lot of people kind of wonder what a cyber attack is going to look like, and I think partly because the average American doesn't think that much of the internet um, affects their lives, you know, other than maybe their phone. Um, maybe some of you in your job, you use a computer, but others you do not. Do not. Uh, you, you may not think that it's, it's that big a deal, uh, especially for those of you that are my age and older. Um, you don't see the internet as being a, a big controller of your daily life, but I, I want to tell you that it in fact is. Yeah, the internet and computers control virtually everything. And I, when I say control, I don't mean like artificial intelligent control. I mean, they're, they're, they do everything. Virtually everything that you're used to in your life is somehow affected by computers. And if they all were shut down, if networks and satellites and, and the internet and everything else was shut down, well, it would be pretty catastrophic. Just in the last year, there's been thousands and thousands of, of cyber attacks on, on businesses, on infrastructure, hospitals, all kinds of stuff. Somewhere around 300 hospitals have been hit, um, banks, all kinds of stuff. And, and it's getting bigger and bigger, and they're becoming more and more capable of inflicting damage. And if this gets full on unleashed, it's going to affect our lives very much. Uh, the movie that, that's been talked about a lot uh, showcases that in some way, uh, that, that communications are all down, um, they can't move, uh, you know, the, the, just transit, traffic, all that kind of stuff gets shut down. Uh, it causes uh, environmental problems. It doesn't go into great detail. It could be something as simple as uh, sewage systems backing up, uh, you know, nuclear power plants shutting down, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff could happen. Uh, then, you know, it, it could just expand as people panic. Um, there's, there's chaos in the streets. And then as governments start blaming each other, uh, acts of war and, and um, things that, that go big boom could definitely also end up happening because of a cyber attack. 
And so we have to get ready for that. Um, I've told you guys for years to make sure you have some good communications that's outside of the system. Um, ham radios, GMRS radios, uh, those, are, those are good and they're not affected by cyber attacks. Even if old CB radios, I, I have a, a CB radio in this truck along with other radios. <sighs> food, make sure that you're able to produce food. Make sure you have plenty of food on, on standby, on supply. If you need some quick emergency food, there is a link in the description below. Yes, it's an affiliate account, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a good reasonable uh, price and reasonable quality product for something that is, is quick and easy for emergencies. But having just non-perishable foods stocked up is a good idea to have. Uh, medicines and medical. Um, you know, if you get sick or you get injured and it all is already crashing down, you're not going to be able to just run to the emergency room or call your doctor or go to a pharmacy. It, it's just not going to happen because it's not going to be available. Uh, money. You're not going to have money to use because most people, all of their money is wrapped up in digital sources like ATMs, debit cards, uh, it's, it's all digital. Very few people have cash and, and cash may or may not work for a while, but at least it's probably going to work in the short term. Uh, but being able to purchase things if you can and to barter and trade uh, and to just have a, a form of currency like gold and silver is going to become pretty important. Uh, defense is something that you need to think about, security, because when it all comes crashing down, you cannot, absolutely you cannot depend on the, the, the local, municipal, county, state, federal governments to protect you. Just not going to happen. So you need to have your own form of, of security, your own way to defend yourself and protect yourself. And it works better if you have a group of people too. Um, transportation may or may not be, you know, a good idea, especially if you have a lot of these new cars. You know, a lot of these new cars can be hacked. Uh, and taken over. That's kind of why I like old beaters like this one. Uh, can't hack this thing. <sighs> Utilities, electricity, heat, winter's here pretty much. I mean, it's chilly in most places. A lot of you are already seeing snow. Uh, if, if everything gets ta attacked in a cyber attack, uh, you may not have electricity. You may not have heat in your home. So what's your alternatives? Do you have an alternative backup source for heat? Something like a wood stove or propane with plenty of propane on hand. This is important to have, folks. We need to be thinking about these things because, well, someone's thinking about them when you look at what Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum, uh, the news media, and the Obamas are all talking about. Obviously, someone is talking about this. Now, is this setting us up for a false flag or a big distraction? Very possibly so, but it doesn't mean that a cyber attack wouldn't actually happen. It's also possible, and I've seen some people say, well, that would be great because, you know, we're scared of the artificial intelligence, and if the cyber attack happens, that could take care of that problem. Actually, it could make it even worse because if a cyber attack happens and we, let's just say it's us versus them, if we are not able to undo the cyber attack, then they may have no other alternative than to unleash artificial intelligence on the system, let it take over, and let it do its job, because AI would have a much better chance of breaking through a hack uh, or a denial of service lockout than a human. So it could potentially set us up for a situation where AI actually takes over. These are all hypotheticals and possibles, but they're starting to look more and more likely to happen as this is being talked about. Yes, there's still things going on all over the world and in other areas of like war and shortages and, and various other hostilities. And I get that. And those are all important too. But this one's a big one. And, and like I said, Old Klausy Swab said that it was going to happen before 2025, and we're not that far away from that. And I think it's something you should all be taking serious and figuring out how you can detach yourself from the grid, from the cyber grid. Um, that's going to be difficult. It is. Uh, do, are you able to move around without GPS? Do you have maps on hand? 
Uh, are you able to figure out how to do stuff without Googling it all the time? That's why I've always encouraged having physical books on hand and not keeping things always in just digital format because it is hackable or it is damageable because of the digital format. So uh, are you able to do that kind of stuff? Do you know how to exist without the internet? Now, a lot of you are gonna laugh at that, but the reality is, is there's a lot of people that can't imagine existing without the internet. And you need to figure out how you can do it and realize all of the different aspects of your life that are controlled um, or, or taken care of because of the internet, because of computers. And if all those things go away, shipping, supplies, food, farming, yes, mostly farming now is all very heavily controlled by the internet, um, trucking, medical, banking, emergency services, all of it, all of it will shut down very quickly if there's an attack, grid, electric, fuel, water, all of that stuff. And so you better be, you better be thinking about it real serious and you better be making a plan and lining things up because it's possible we may not have that much longer before things start happening. Already today, there were several uh, websites and companies saying that they were hit with a cyber attack. Now, that's not that unusual. It happens quite often. But if we start seeing these things build more and more, it could be a stronger sign that it is, well, getting close to doomsday. And as you all know, uh, doing something like this would be a great excuse to hold off on the elections or to shut down the elections or to make it, you know, a mail-in ballot election. It would be perfect for that, wouldn't it? And the more and more you see polls like I saw today, that I saw one today that as of right now in an all-out election, um, Trump would win over Biden by a landslide. And the more they see stuff like that, I think the more they're going to try to um, shift things around. I, I mean, I, I, in my heart, already believe it's been chosen, they, that whoever wins the, the presidency, they already know who it is, and they've already picked them out. But they got to make it look good for, for everyone. They got to make it look like something else is going on than just pure corruption. And a big cyber attack would certainly do that. Folks, you need to be serious about this. Uh, you know, maybe you don't think it's going to happen. And that's fine, but that's not a reason to not do anything about it. Don't get all scared and hyped up and panicked, but you should be taking actions to prepare yourselves, your family, and your community for what we could very well face in the near future. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.